What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix startup and possibly random crashes in Fall Guys. So before we even get into this video, while Fall Guys has come a long way since original release, the servers could still be struggling, especially with big updates. So could the game. Make sure to check at Fall Guys Owl on Twitter for official server announcements, which will also be linked down in the description below. So let's get on to fixing random or startup crashes. First of all, make sure your Windows and graphics card drivers are up to date. While this is the simplest step, I'll be skipping over how to do it here, as a lot of users already know how to do this. Then, you should go ahead and disable in-game overlays, such as Steam, Discord, maybe Nvidia's GeForce One if you have it installed as well, as well as anything else that could be displaying over the game. There's a ton of different overlays, so I won't be running through how to disable each and every one. Just know which ones you have over your game and see if you can disable them. Those three that I mentioned are probably the most common. Then, next up, close every background process, especially the ones that could be using internet. Hold, control, shift, and then press escape to bring up the task manager. Inside of here, simply run through all of these processes and close the ones that you recognize. The more processes that you close, the less likely something is going to be interfering with your game in the background. Obviously, you'll need to keep all of these Steam processes as well as Fall Guys open. Close your music player, email client, web browser, possibly Discord, and other things running on your computer. Simply try and launch up the game and see if it's working properly. If it's not, then there's a couple more things that we can try and do. Open up Steam and locate the game on the list. Simply right-click the game, then click Properties, and head across to the Local Files tab at the very top. Then we'll click Browse Local Files, and it'll open a new file browser dialog in the game's directory. Simply locate Fall Guys Client, right-click the EXE, click Properties, and then head across to the Compatibility tab. Once we're in here, simply check Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and then hit the Change DPI settings at the bottom, Check this bottom checkbox and set the drop down to application. Hit OK, OK, and then right click the second EXE in this directory, Fall Guys Client Game. Once again, compatibility, check disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, check the box at the bottom, application, OK, OK. For this next step, you'll need to be able to open up the game and visit the main menu. Assuming you can't, what you can do is right click the game in your Steam library. Head across to the Local Files tab and then click Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will run through all of the local game files and verify that everything's downloaded and installed as expected. If something's found to be corrupt, it'll be re-downloaded and replaced. Hopefully by this point, you're able to launch up the game because the next troubleshooting steps that we'll be doing will mainly be for random crashes in the game. Simply launch up the game, Fall Guys. As you can see, I not only have the Steam overlay, but I also have the NVIDIA overlay pop-up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Closing those can help your game launch properly if it's having issues. Anyways, now that we're on the main menu, head across to the settings at the very top and then into the options section. In here, simply make sure server region and language are either set to automatic or the local region that you'll be playing in. While this is less important for crashing, it's nice to have these set up properly. What we're really interested in is the video settings down here. We can simply set preset to custom or ignore it as when we change settings below this, it'll be adjusted. Simply make sure the resolution and frame rate matches that of your monitor. Mine of course is 144 hertz and for some reason it only gets to 143. The main focus is getting this resolution correct. Then, windowed mode should be set to off for the best performance. If this is set to on and you're experiencing random crashes, you can try setting this to on to play in a windowed mode. That means that the game might crash less if you're having issues with full screen. VSync should be set to off unless you're getting screen tearing under 60 FPS. Then you can turn it on. As for everything else in here, the lower that these settings are, the less likely they are to cause heavy stress on your PC and possibly crashing. While this game is relatively lightweight to run, it can still stress PCs depending on how sharply things are rendered, how much corners are smoothed, etc, etc. So dropping all of these to the left should help your game's performance quite dramatically if it's crashing because your PC is maxing out. That being said, I doubt your PC would be maxing out if you have a medium to high performance PC, but if it is for some reason and you've overclocked your system, try turning off the overclock temporarily as it may be an unstable overclock. But besides that, the game should be working fine by now. If it's not, make sure to check the comments down below to see if there's another solution that I've missed. And if you're still having issues, I wish you luck finding your answer elsewhere. That's about it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.